What's up guys, Dark Dally here playing Ghost Recon Wildlands and today I want to take a look at quite a bit of stuff actually. First up, I want to look at the Predator Ghost Pack you can get. Now it's a little expensive but it comes with a lot of stuff and I want to go into all of that. I want to show you the weapons, the clothing options and some of the other little features that this pack comes with. Kind of help you decide is it worth the 2600 points. Now that is a lot of points but this Ghost Pack has some cool stuff in it that's not to be missed and may not be obvious at first glance. First of all, I want to take a look at these two weapons it comes with, the M16 and the R93. Now, Ubisoft is starting to do something that I've been wanting them you know, to do for a while, <clears throat> and they're finally starting to do it, and that is these weapons are fully modifiable, unlike in previous things that we've seen. The M16 and the R93 are both fully modifiable. This M16 is just as modifiable as every other assault rifle, although you can't change barrels on it. It has all of the other options, although I kind of like to keep mine looking stock like this. Now, this said, I will have separate videos for the M16 and the R93, testing them against their, you know, the other weapons and testing bullet drop, accuracy and things like that, like I always do. So I will have separate videos for these weapons to test them. I really, really like this gun. I just want to put that as a side note. It was one of the big deciding factors in me purchasing this ghost pack. Uh, a lot of you guys know I served in the Marines, and when I did, this was a long time ago, back in the late 90s, this was our service weapon. Uh, so for me, it's got sentimental value. I loved seeing this in the game, and it was a big selling point for me on this pack. Now, here we have the R93 sniper rifle. From what I've seen, it's fairly uh it's fairly average as far as performance goes but i've only done a very small amount of testing let's have a look at these guns here so here's the m16 just using the iron sights of course it can take any of the optics the other assault rifles can it's got a great sound to it it's it's a really uh really good gun here we have the r93 let's have a listen to this here I want to see the reload. I want to see if the reload is any different. This is not a typical bolt action. Yeah, it looks the same as other reloads. All right. And now as far as all the clothing options that come with this pack. The first clothing option I want to talk about is these little wrist blades right here that I'm wearing. The Predator wrist blades. Now, you may be wondering before you buy the pack, do they actually work? Yes. Yes, they do. Oh, do they ever. Just tapping the R3 button... Gives you a cool little extending blades animation and the little shink sound as they pop out. And yes, there are several different animations. I've seen at least three animations so far when you perform melee kills with those. I'm going to put some of those up on the screen now, and it's as brutal as you would think it is. These are really, really fun to run. So yeah, if, if you're trying to decide whether or not you want to buy the pack, you're like, I don't know, those wrist blades probably don't work. Yeah, they do. All right. That is one great thing. Now let's have a look at the other stuff that comes with the pack, the clothes and whatnot. It's directly, you know, from the movie. L let's go here. Let's look at the body details. Let's start with face pa the face paint. You have the face paint of Dutch, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, the face paint of Poncho and Billy. And you also have Muddy Dutch when Arnold covered himself in mud. That said, there are matching tattoos to go on your arms. So you can do that as well and have that cool mud-covered look. So that's pretty neat. These camo tattoos I was using are from another pack. These are not from the Predator pack. I just want to note that. These come from the Sniper Ghost War pack, but I like them. So first off, yeah, we get the face paint of some of the main characters, and I think that that's really cool. I'm going to go back to my Dutch face paint. I really like this one. Now let's take a look at some of the other stuff because this pack comes with a lot. It's expensive, but it comes with a lot, and you got to decide for yourself well, I get, you know, the 15 to 20 or so dollars worth of enjoyment out of this. For me, it's a no-brainer. I'm having a lot of fun. Let's look at clothes. So here's the top that comes with the, red, the, the Predator wrist blades. It's just a tank top and these. Now, one thing that looks really good with these, and I wish I had this pack, I just don't, is the warrior vest. The warrior vest really fills this out, especially if you want to go ahead, color this black. Of course, I can't actually put it on because I don't own it. And this would match great with the Predator helmet, which we'll get to here in a second. I just want to put that out there as a, as a side note. I might actually buy the Warrior Pack just for this vest to complete a really good Predator look. That's one thing I'd recommend if you you know you want to do that. Also comes with the Predator t-shirt. You can see right here, it's got the Predator movie logo on it. 
Let's go ahead and put this on and take my vest off so we can see it. So that's pretty cool. It comes with a little Predator t-shirt or the tank top and the, uh, the wrist blades. This pack comes with yet more stuff. Let's have a look down. I actually, I think, oh, let's go to accessories. Now on eyewear, there's actually a couple options. And the eyewear, Rick's glasses. Remember the guy with the big glasses in the movie? That uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he was one that always was telling those jokes and trying to get Billy to laugh. Yeah, this would be his glasses. That's kind of fun. They put those in there. And then uh, we have hats from Blaine. This is Blaine's hat, played by Jesse Ventura in the movie. And then here's Billy's hat. So that's really cool. We have these two hats to choose from. And then, of course, there's the Predator mask, which is actually under face wear. And it's down here, Predator helmet. Now, one cool thing about this, okay, so you can color it any way you want. You can wear it. One way you can wear this, let's go ahead and equip it real quick. One way you can wear this is with a ghillie suit. I just want to show some of the stuff here. And it won't... It won't show the top part of the ghillie suit. So this is actually kind of a cool look right here. I actually wore, this is what I wore in my video where we took down the Predator. That video will be up soon. I got about an hour's worth of footage there because it took us a few tries to kill the Predator. And uh, I'm going to get that edited down. That'll be up. This is basically what I was wearing in that video. So this is kind of a fun thing if you want to do this. The Predator helmet, again, if you pair it with the wrist blades and that warrior vest, you can get a really cool Predator look if that's your thing. One thing that a friend of mine did was he, he got a full Blaine outfit going on. What he did was, and he did this for the fight actually when we fought the Predator, he put on Blaine's hat. Where's it at down here? Here it is. He put on this, and then one thing you can do is go to Facewear, and where's that? Get the El Jefe cigar. Of course, that was Dutch that smoked the cigar, but still, <laughs> this is a really cool predator style look right here this is definitely definitely something very cool all right guys so this pack is it worth the 2600 points that's up to you it was for me because i have these awesome functional wrist blades which give some seriously visceral kill animations which you've seen i showed you and i, I do want i want to buy that warrior pack just to get that vest and i could create a really cool predator outfit also these two guns are worth it the m16 was the main thing i really wanted and i was not disappointed so I got to say, if if there was a uh, DLC pack in this game, if there was a ghost pack that was worth buying, I, I'm still, I'm going to stick by my recommendation of the Special Forces pack. And I got to say, if you can find the 2,600 points, or maybe you just have a couple extra laying around. I just happened to have 200 points laying around. I was able, so I was able to just spend $15 on a small pack and then uh, the base pack. And that gave me just enough points to buy this but still, it did cost money, so that part's up to you. However, I will say, as far as a review of these weapons, these are both pretty solid weapons. In what I've seen from damage and bullet drop, they're pretty average. They're right up there. They're Everything here is pretty good. So whether or not you want to spend the money is up to you, but the pack is good. Everything here is solid and functional, you know, even more so than meets the eye. It's really good stuff. All right, guys, tell me what you think about the Predator pack in the comments below. I know a lot of people are, are not you know, into spending money for extra stuff. But hey, it's all what you want to do. And I am having fun. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a real pleasure. I'm Dark Deli. I will catch you guys next time.